We're in the area of Hajiji, very near Sarajevo. Although the war may have finished here in 1995, the soil of this region still contains a lot of mines and other war ammunition. The story is similar for about 1,600 square kilometers in Bosnia-Herzegovina. And imagine this is only one of about 70 countries in the world where mines are still widely present in the soil. And they keep on making victims year after year. People get seriously wounded or even killed. Apart from that, the mines make going back to normal life impossible. People may not enter suspected areas, so they can't use the ground for agriculture or to build houses or businesses. We have to release the, that, that areas and put the, give them back to the use. So it's uh, uh, now, let's say, high priority. Uh, uh, you can't uh, stop them. Really, they need those resources. The people from Integrated Applications Promotion at ESA are bringing together all kinds of existing techniques, such as satellite Earth observation, satellite communication, databases, field reports supported by satellite navigation, to help set priorities and to create maps showing how high the chances are that there are actually mines inside a suspected zone. In that way, not all of the problem zones have to be searched in detail. So the work can be focused on really important areas and on the really dangerous zones, where the searching will be done manually, meter by meter. One of the main objectives is to, to reduce this amount of work by not investigating in areas where it's not necessary. And in fact, 90% uh, of the time, it turns out that there are no mines where people have been searching. But how are these new so-called risk maps made? Here in Hajiji, in this test phase, several techniques are brought together. For example, a small remote-controlled airplane flies over a wood-covered area of two square kilometers to make photographs with a visual camera, an infrared one, and even with a hyperspectral spectrometer. Those photographs can be matched to maps using a satellite navigation receiver, GPS, that is placed inside the plane. These pictures will be combined with recent and older pictures taken by Earth observation satellites and with databases holding other types of information collected by the mine action community in the field. The resulting new maps will show indicators for high risk and low risk spots for landmines. As it's dangerous and requires a lot of effort to collect this information in the field, the view from above is essential. If you see strategic things like river banks, road, uh, side of the road, the edges of forest, um, or you see evidence of actual damage like broken bridges and this type of things, then these are indicators that there are mines there. And then if you combine this information with uh, information that's collected in the field, like reports from people about uh, accidents that have happened, you can make risk maps and then you can put your resources there where it's most needed. Using these new risk maps, the actual demining can be then organized in a more targeted way, faster and also cheaper. Demining one square meter now costs about one dollar. But the technique to exclude some areas from thorough demining is up to 50 times cheaper. Of course, no risks will be taken. If an area on the future maps will indicate low risk, it'll still be searched, but in another way. What we try to do is try to make an estimate of what is the remaining risk, and depending on that, uh, additional checks are done, for example, uh, by dogs that can sniff out explosives just to see if there's anything left. Yeah. ESA wants to emphasize that the scientific techniques that are now tested are selected together with the users on the ground. ESA gets help from the Geneva International Center for Humanitarian Demining, a non-profit organization that coordinates developments for mine action with lots of experience in this field. They help and advise how to bring the needs of the field workers together with the ideas of the developers. For example, people who work on the fields very often, they don't know how these technologies could be useful. And the others, they know, but they don't know how to implement. And that gap can be, um, can be filled with our help and with that project as well. If the tests are okay and the risk maps become widely used, they should help to bring safety for everyone. Not only for the people who live near these suspected areas, but also for the D-miners who enter them to do their job.
120 have been killed in action while demining in Bosnia-Herzegovina since the end of the war. Of course, this integration of demining techniques with information coming from satellites in space, as is now being tested in Bosnia-Herzegovina with the help of the European Space Agency, can later be spread around the entire world, making the planet a safer place.